Have you ever felt unsure about what you truly want in life? Like you're walking through a big forest and not sure which direction to go. Hi, I'm Sally and today I'm going to help you figure out what you really want in life. Trust me, it's a journey worth taking. To understand what you truly want, you need to get a clear picture of where you are right now. Imagine you are lost in a forest. The first thing you need to do is to figure out where you are. And then you need to know where you want to go. And finally, you need to find the path that will take you to where you want to go. We are asking big questions here, but don't let that discourage you. Think of it as an adventure. We're just explorers trying to find our way. So let's start by knowing where we are right now. Grab a notebook and pen and let's dive in. First, let's talk about your work. Think about your typical day. What parts of your job make you excited to get out of bed in the morning? What parts of your job make you feel bored and tired? Pause this video right now for a moment and jot down your thoughts. Be honest with yourself because no one else is going to see this. What's working in your job and what's not? Think about what makes you smile during the workday and what makes you want to scream into your pillow at night. For example, a few years ago when I was still working as a registered nurse, I asked myself the same question. I loved certain parts of my job like helping sick people and providing service, but the long hours is draining me and taking my time away from my family. This exercise isn't just about identifying the negatives, it's also about recognizing and appreciating the positives. Now that we've talked about work, let's now talk about life outside work. Grab that notebook again because we're going to dive deep into your personal health, relationships, and what truly brings you joy. First, let's talk about your personal health. This includes your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Are you taking care of your body with regular exercise and healthy eating? How's your mental health? Do you feel stressed or anxious often? Or are you generally at peace? Are you feeling balanced and happy? Pause the video and take a moment to write down your thoughts. What's going well in your health journey? What's not working? Maybe you've been feeling stressed out or not getting enough sleep. Be honest to yourself. Next, relationships. Think about your connections with your family, friends, and even yourself. Do you spend quality time with the people who matter most to you? Or are there any conflicts? Lastly, let's talk about joy. What activities or moments light you up and make you feel truly alive? Is it a hobby, a passion project, or just spending quiet time in nature? On the flip side, what areas of your life feel dull and unfulfilling? Write that down. Pause the video again and write down your thoughts. What's bringing you joy? What's not? Understanding these aspects can give you a clear picture of your current situation and help you see what changes are needed. Now, let's do another activity, shall we? I want you to draw a circle and divide it into four sections. Work, health, relationship, and joy or happiness. Rate each section from 1 to 10 based on your satisfaction. 1 being not good and 10 as really, really good. This exercise helps you see which areas of your life need more attention. For example, I rated my health a 6 because I've not been consistent with my fitness routine. Like I want to go to the gym and do Zumba 3 times a week, but I just couldn't do it due to lack of motivation. But my joy or happiness section was 10 because I'm spending enough time on the things that I love. This exercise made it clear what areas I needed to focus on. Once you rated each area, think about small steps you can take to improve them. Remember, it's about progress, not perfection. Even a small change can make a big difference. For example, for me, since I need to work on my health and fitness, 
I can start with just doing Zumba at home for 15 minutes instead of going to the gym. Less time and effort to do it, the more likely to accomplish it. Next, let's talk about energy. Look back at the last two weeks and note what activities gave you energy and what drained you. This can help you understand what you truly enjoy and what you might want to avoid. For me, for example, the activities that gave me energy was traveling, and going out on a trip. We went to Hot Spring Resort, night swimming with the kids and family, and just enjoyed it. And on the other hand, the activity that drained me was editing my videos. Now I know what exactly to do, that I have to hire editors. Now let's dream a little. Imagine your life a year from now. What do you want to be true about yourself? Write down your future you as if they've already happened. For example, I'm a successful entrepreneur or I have a balanced and happy life. As you write these future truths, let yourself dream big. Don't hold back because of fear or doubt. This is your vision and it should reflect your desires and aspirations. Think about what would make you feel truly fulfilled and happy. Once you've written down your future truths, take a moment to read them over. Feel the excitement and motivation that come from imagining your best life. Keep these statements somewhere you can see them regularly. Maybe on your mirror, your fridge, or your desk. They will serve as a constant reminder of where you are going to be. This exercise helps you focus on your goals and visualize your desired future. It's a powerful way to align your actions with your dreams. For me, I want to have a toned arms and legs. So what we did is, we went to a gym and my husband and I hired a personal trainer to achieve my dream of having toned arms and legs. And my exercises focus on achieving these goals. By doing this activity, you should have a clearer idea of where you are and what you want. Remember, it's a journey. Don't rush it. Reflect on your answers and take small steps towards your goals. I love this quote coming from Oprah Winfrey. The biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. This means that the most exciting and rewarding journey is to follow your dreams and make them come true. It's like setting off on a big adventure where you explore new things, face challenges, and grow as a person. When you think about what you really want in life, imagine it as an adventure instead of being scared or worried. See it as something fun and exciting. By dreaming big and writing down what you want, you are planning your adventure. Oprah is encouraging us to live boldly and go after what we truly desire. It's not just about reaching your goals, but enjoying the journey and learning from every experience along the way. This way, finding out what you want in life becomes an exciting and fulfilling process. So keep dreaming, stay motivated, and believe in yourself. The life you envision is within your reach. Let's keep moving forward together. I hope this video helps you get clearer on what you really want in life. If you want to learn more from me, Watch this video next.